Folks, okay, so we've got a good little workout for you today. We're gonna to start off with a little bit of stretching, then a bit of a mobility flow, and then we're gonna get straight into it, okay? So, starting off, just a basic stretch, slide the hands down the legs, keep the legs straight if you can, you wanna stretch the back of the legs, slide all the way down, if you can, bring the hands around the backs of the ankles, pulling our chest in towards the legs, don't pull too hard, moving right through the legs, and you stand up nice and slow, squeeze the bottom of the top, start again, slide the hands down, Back to the legs and back up. We're going to go for five of these. Okay, once we've done five of those, we're going to do a little bit of mobility flow. So, cat camels or spinal waves, these are known as. Okay, so from here we're going to arch our back up, tucking the chin into the chest, make a big arch, and then slowly dropping that back down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lifting the head up, and you're just going to switch between the two. All right, pushing up a big arch you can do. Drop it down as low as you can. Okay? We're going to do five of these. Once you've done five of those, we're going to do some fixed zenith. So you're going to sit right back on your heels. Left arm straight out from the body, right hand on the back of the head. You're going to bring that elbow in that puts the inside of the opposite elbow. You want to rotate all the way up. We're going to rotate the upper part of our back here, okay? That's key spot. All right? So bring the elbow all the way up, looking up at it. Pause at the top. And back down, five each side, okay? Five on the other side. Once we've done that, then in the press up position, we're going to do some downward dog walking. So slowly walking our feet in towards your hands, keeping the legs nice and straight. Walk in as far as we can, and then slowly walking it back out, keeping those legs straight. Drop the hips down, squeeze the bum, start again. Once again, we're going to do five of these, okay? After you've done five, we're going to do five each side of a deep lunge with some rotation, okay? So once you've done your five downward dog walk-ins, Take a press up position, bring your left hand up to the outside of the hand, drop that elbow down as close as you can to that angle, and we're going to rotate all the way up, look it up at the hand, nice straight line. Then you put your hand down, bring that foot back, bring the opposite leg out, down, rotate up, back, drop the foot up, down, rotate up. Okay, we're going to go five each side, so ten in total. Okay? Once done that, big circle with the arms. Okay, get a little bit of rotations of the shoulders in there as well. Rotating the torso, pretty much just loosening those up. Okay, all right, after that then, we're gonna get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of Tabata. Interval training, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three exercises, and we're gonna go for three rounds. Okay, so you're gonna need yourself, get yourself a timer. All right, working for 20, resting for 10. Three exercises are high knees. Okay, 20 seconds of work. 10 seconds rest. Second exercise is a double in out jump. So we're going to jump out, bring both hands down, touch your right in between the feet, back in. Remember, we're hinging, pushing the bum back, not, not squatting. Okay, we're not doing that, right? Pushing that bum back, keep some shoulder blades together, nice flat back. Double in out jumps, 20 seconds of that, 10 seconds rest. And then the final one is mountain climbers. Okay, hands right from the shoulders, bring the knees all the way up to the chest, keeping the hips down low, not up like this. Trying to stay down nice and low, driving the feet all the way up. 20 seconds of those, 10 seconds rest in your back to your high knees. Like I said, three sets, all right? Getting this warmed up, get the heart rate up, get the muscles activated and stuff like that, okay? So, three sets, then take a little break, about 90 seconds or so. Then we're gonna get into uh, our next set, which is uh, eight minute AMRAP. AMRAP is as many rounds as possible. So we're working for eight minutes, you just try to get as many rounds as possible inside of those eight minutes. All right, so we're working, gonna, gonna be working between two different routines. First routine is gonna be a prone hip extension. So from a press up position, nice straight line, hips are down, we're not up in the air. Nice straight press up position, hands right below the shoulders, bringing the left leg up, squeeze the bum and back down. We're not up in the air like this, okay? Keeping the bum squeezed. So nice straight line, bring the left leg up. If you're really squeezing the bum hard, you shouldn't be able to get it up much further than about that, okay? We're gonna go five on the left, five on the right, straight in, five press-ups. Okay, if you have to go on your knees for press-ups, that's okay. Five press-ups, but then you're gonna go back up onto the feet for this prone hip extension. So we're gonna go five on the left, five on the right, five press-ups, and we're gonna do that twice. So back to the five on the left, five on the right, five press-ups, all right? Once we've done that, we're gonna do the same sort of thing when you're gonna be reverse lunging, and squatting one and a half squats. So you're gonna go five reverse lunges on the right, 
Okay, so stepping right back as far as you can, drag them through your hips, straight up, squeeze them off the top. Big step back, drag your hips, squeeze. Not like this, not leaning forward. All right, get all the, step right back, get all the weight on the heels, hamstrings loose, drive through, squeeze them. As little press off that back foot as possible. Five to the left, five on the right, and then you're gonna go straight into five, one and a half squats. So get all the way down, up a little bit, back down to the bottom, drive through the heels, up to the top, squeeze. So five of those in your back, to those reverse lunges, five on the right, five on the left, back to five, one and a half, okay? Then you're back into your prone hip extensions. So just to recap that round, it's gonna be five prone hip extensions, on the left, five on the right, five press ups, do that twice, okay? Then it's reverse lunge on the right, five on the right, five on the left, five one and a half squats, and do that twice, and just keep repeating them for as many rounds as possible inside of those eight minutes. Should even try and get it done in about two minutes each round, maybe between two minutes and two and a half for each round, okay? All right, after you've done that, once again, take about 90 seconds to two minutes. We'll get into the last one, up the intensity again a little bit more, okay? So, we're gonna go for three rounds, 45 seconds on each exercise with a 15 second rest, okay? First one's just gonna be jogging. Don't worry about getting too high with these, we're just gonna be jogging with sort of medium knee height, making sure you get the arms involved there too. Next one then, we're gonna be jog, or sorry, mountain climbers, we're gonna do eight mountain climbers, okay? Eight mountain climbers and four scissor jumps. We'll be jumping in and out, okay? Back to those mountain climbers. Five, six, seven, eight, four, with those scissor jumps, okay? You're just gonna keep that going for 45 seconds. Rest of 15, then you're into the next one, which is four star jumps. And one burpee, hand down, kick back, all the way to the floor, jump in, jump up, okay? If you struggle with that, you're gonna do four burpees, uh, sorry, four star jumps, and just a half burpee, kick back, and if you really struggle with the burpees, Step back, step back, jump, back, four star jumps, okay? Next exercise is four plyometric lunges and four jump squats. So plyometric lunge, uh, from a run position, stay up nice and tall, you're gonna jump, switch legs, three, four, then it's four jumping squats. Now if you struggle with this, we can just do four uh, lunges each leg, either forward or reverse, and four, Squats and just keep that going, okay, for those 45 seconds. Preferably, four plyometric lunges, four jump squats, okay? Keep going for those 45. Then our last one is bicycle kicks, okay? So lie flat on the ground, lift your shoulders up off the ground, leg all the way out, bring your right elbow towards the left knee, try to get that leg out nice and straight, lift your shoulders off the ground so your back's nice and flat, Tense the core. Try not to be up in the air like, like uh, with your legs like this. Try to keep the legs nice, straight all the way out. If you have to slow down a little bit, that's okay. Keeping that core tight, not just do this. Okay, keep those legs all the way out. Rotate, tense the abs. 45 seconds, 15 second rest, and you're back to the jogging again, okay? Three rounds, get it done. Let me know how you get on.